Bitch, your game, talk your shit, grab your gas, call your clip, squeeze your clip. Fuck peace, I let them niggas know it's on for life. Don't let the west side ride tonight. <laughs> Those niggas mad because I know the cash rules Everything around me too They got me mobbing like I'm loped and ready to get my slug on I load my clip and slip my motherfucking gloves on Highly requested since the beginning of the reaction box When I was staying at my old house I thought I already had did this joint man But my man kept requesting it Requesting I was like man let me go check this man I know I did this joint But come to find out And shame on me man Shame on the reaction I ain't did Big L's 98 freestyle. What the fuck? Hey man, I ain't gonna hold y'all. Let's go, man. Let's go. Yeah, I got some new shit for y'all to play too, you know? Okay, good. Big L. Tell me if this will suffice. Or if it's mayo out of here. This is the frosted flakes. This is Yeah, yeah. I guess I, I, it'll work. It'll work. You get jiggy with that? Yeah, yeah, let's see. Check it out. You can ball with this. One, two, one, two. Kind of tired. Big L about to get some shit. Oh, shit. Yo, fuck all the glamours and bliss. I plan to get rich. I'm from New York and never was a fan of the Knicks. And I'm all about it. He said I'm from New York and I was never a fan of the Knicks, man. You know what I'm saying? Me neither. But hey, that shit was cold. <laughs> it's blitz. I plan to get rich. I'm from New York and never was a fan of the Knicks. And I'm all about expanding my chips. You mad because I was in the van with your bitch. With both hands on her tits. Hold the old uh. phone. That you know in your heart. I got style. Plus the way that I've been flowing the shop. A while back, I used to hustle. Something blow in the park. Counting cheese stacks and rocking ice that glow in the dark. Forever. Man. Counting G stacks and rocking ice that glow in the dark. Man. The hustle, summer glow in the park. Counting G stacks and rocking ice that glow in the dark. Forever. Howdy hunting, trigger temper, or quick to body something. You looking at me like I'm probably fronting. I fuck around and throw three in your chest and bleed in my breast out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What the fuck did he just say? Hold up, hold up. I fuck around and, and throw three in your chest. Hold up, wait a minute, wait a minute. Probably frontin'. I fuck around and throw three in your chest and flee to my rest. I hold it and smart. And f hold up and flee to my rest. Wow. He said I fuck around and throw three in your chest and flee to my rest. Hold up, man. Doesn't it? Being my best. I stopped hanging around, dog. Cause niggas like you, you're playing on my downfall. Hoping I flop, hoping I stop. You probably even hope I get locked. Or be on the street corner with a pipe smoking a rock. I got more bitches than you. Fuck more bitches than you. Only thing I haven't got is more stitches than you. Fucking man, I swear to God, man. I swear to God. Big L, man. I swear to God. Man. I swear to God, this nigga right here, oh my God, man, oh my God, I ain't even gonna say it, man, I ain't even gonna say it. That nigga say fucking punk, you ain't a leader. What am I to follow you? God say your mother should have swallowed you. Hold up. Yes, man, shit. Do me a favor. Please get off the next man. Fucking punk, you ain't a leader. What? Nobody followed you. It was never shit. Your mother should have swallowed you. You want some tag along. Flunky, yes, man, shit. Do me a favor. Please get off the next man dick. And if you think I can't fuck with whoever, put some money up. Man, I swear to God, this motherfucker right here is raw, man. I ain't never seen no shit like this. Like, I ain't never heard nothing like this. And think about the time that he did this in '98, rocking like this. He said, my bitch think I'm lawyer, that bitch is a fool. <laughs> Good God. It's so many bars, man. I can't pause it and just break them all, man. Everything he's saying is a bar breaker. It's crazy. 
Even that bitch is a fool. How come you can listen to my first album and tell where a lot of niggas got their whole style from? So yeah. what you acting for? You ain't half as raw. You need to practice more. Somebody tell this nigga son, so I crack his jaw. You running with boys and running with men. I'm a ripping the mics until I'm 110. Mm. And then niggas like, damn it, this nigga done done it again. I throw mm. stuff in any gas. No love for city cops. I scored a pretty watch. 850 rocks. I'm making mm -mm. one of you niggas. I don't fuck with none of you niggas. I might pull out this gun of you niggas and rob every last one of you niggas. Man, I swear yeah. to God. I swear to God, God man. Yeah, yeah. You wrote that. You were thinking about somebody when you wrote that, right? Nah, I, all nah. my shit like that because, you know, lately niggas been battling on a black lady. Yeah. Shit. Like, like that, Ain't nobody battling you. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody can nobody can battle that nigga there. I'm sorry. I see that now. I see it. I acknowledge it. Nobody can battle this nigga. His metaphors and punchlines will wipe you off the planet. Man, he said, keep running, and I'm going to choke you till your eyes pop out, man. It's just certain stuff I got to call, but that shit's crazy. Hold up. Yeah, be leaving guys knocked out. Keep running, and I'm going to choke you till your eyes pop out. I was taught that if a nigga swing, swing right back. Battle Cody, yeah. I do a stupid thing like that. Yo, I'm not in the mood, son, so don't push me tonight. Plus, I fucked your little sister, and that pussy was right. That pussy was wow. right. Wow. Ripping my dick like a pair of pliers. You mm. fucking snitch right now, you probably ripping wires. Man, listen to this shit, please, man. Just listen to this shit, man. Oh my, just listen to what he's saying, please. Listen to what he's saying. This is crazy. Son, so don't push me tonight. Plus, I fucked your little sister, and that pussy was right. That pussy was tight, ripping my dick like a pair of pliers. You fucking snitch right now. You probably wearing wires. It's not a joke. So as soon as he laugh, I'm a strip him naked and stick a long broom in his ass, leave him heartbroken, make him quit rap and start smoking. My album is done, so no, it ain't no part open. I'm not a sweet stud. I'm a street dog that's quick to beat a nigga like a cheap rug till he leak blood. You sure saw flash you fall off, might slide your horn off, thick whole horn off. He say I leave your bloody red like uh, like the nose of Rudolph. I leave man this this nigga right here, man. I swear. You ain't a player, but that's the car route. Take that suit off before I shoot off and take your roof off. Leave your clothes bloody red like the nose of Rudolph. I rock many stages and never got booed off. I might let the scat first, put you in a big black purse for that whack first. You should have tried the supper cats first, because none of y'all niggas can fuck with me. And if your man want to join, I got my gruff with me. We puff much, is he? I do shit that only tough men do. And the cats you get <laughs> fuck them too. I buck them too. Be mm. careful what you rush. You lame ass nigga, no dough, always on the train ass nigga. Can I beat Tim Carrey chain ass nigga? You got fucked up state, you cupcake. How many dicks can you want take? I ran through every bitch in my path. I was fucking six in the ass when I was six and a half. Man, I swear to God, this shit right here, man. Hey, man, this is too much, man. Damn, damn, D reaction brain is like that shit about to explode like the little emoji thing that got the smoke coming out the top of his head. Cause this nigga here is. And through every bitch in my path, I was fucking six in the ass when I was six and a half. Now I'ma take you out your misery. And after this, nigga, put you in a social study book because you're history. Man, whoa, 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 whoa. He said, and after this, nigga, put you in a social studies book because you're history. Literally, turned that bitch to dust. Whoever. This and after this, nigga, put you in a social study book because you're history. Yeah. Y'all gonna give me my math. That was the rawest freestyle I ever heard. Right. I ain't even gonna lie. That was the rawest freestyle I ever heard in my life. I ain't gonna lie. In my life. All jokes aside, I give him that. That shit crazy. Wow. And you know what made it what make it the, the baddest freestyle I ever heard in my life? It was because he was rocking mics. Doing freestyles on that level back in 1998 or whenever, like like 
for him to be rapping on that level back then is crazy, man. A lot of people ask me about Big L, man. They say he was better than Biggie. He was the best rapper and all this stuff right here. And I truly believe, just listening to this now, I mean, this all the rappers, man, like super rappers, man, ain't but so many like Eminem, Tupac, Biggie, y'all know, man. Like, y'all know who they are. But I will say this, man, comparison to Biggie, I really believe that Big L is better than Biggie as far as rapping go. But Big L is not better than Tupac. I'm going to tell you why he's not better than Tupac before y'all get in the comments. That he's not better than Tupac because the style that Big L using, Tupac mastered that style by mastering Rakim style and uh, mastering LL Cool J style. That's why Tupac said that Rakim and LL Cool J could never beat him because he mastered their style. And he did. And I see that down, that style. But I will say this too though, Eminem, he stole a lot of stuff from uh, Big L style. Just the crazy stuff he be saying, the metaphors and the punchlines. He don't care what he say. Like, y'all know what Eminem doing. Y'all hear Big L style, man. It's, it's got a lot of similarities, man. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But taking nothing away from Biggie, too. Let me touch back down on him. You know what I'm saying? He was arguably the greatest rapper of all time, too. But if I had to compare him to Big L, I would say that Big L edged Biggie. Because I see a lot of similarities in Biggie that he took from Big L, too. Like, saying crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I gotta do that, man. But far as being better than Tupac, or you know what I'm saying, I would not. He's not better than Tupac, but yeah, he in his own lane. And that freestyle was the greatest freestyle I ever heard in my life. Just the way he rocked it with ease, like I can only imagine if that man hadn't passed away, he probably he would have been. He might have been the best. He might have been better than Tupac, maybe. But uh. It's a shame we didn't get to see that, man. But shout outs to Big L, man. R.I.P. Big L. You know what I'm saying? You getting your acknowledgement on the reaction box. Get in the comment section. Let me know what else y'all want to see from Big L, too, man. It's your boy D Reaction, the reaction box. I'm signing off. I'm going to holler at y'all in the next reaction, man. Let's get it. Let's go. Peace. Big L.